A lot of guys ask, what can I say to a girl to make her fall in love? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share five things that you can say to make a woman really fall for you. Now, I'll warn you, a few of these tips may sound weird or counterintuitive, but there's very specific psychology behind every technique that I'm gonna share today, as I'll explain in a minute. Hi, my name is Bobby Rio, and what I've found coaching guys for the past 13 years is that when a guy has feelings for a girl, he's more likely to say the wrong things than he is to say things that actually cause her to become more attracted to him and to fall in love. For instance, a lot of times when a guy has these feelings for a girl, he has the urge to compliment her a lot. Now I get it, right? I've been there. I know that feeling, but when it comes to complimenting a woman, two things are critically important. First is that you make her feel like she's earned the compliment. Let me explain what I mean by that. This means that instead of blurting out compliments all at once or every time you see her, which not only loses effectiveness, but it actually starts to annoy a girl, it should appear to a woman that you're slowly falling for her, that you're slowly realizing the special things you like about her, like she's winning you over day by day. Now, the second part of it is that compliments work better when you compliment something that she feels is unique to her personality and not a general compliment on her looks or her eyes or whatever. If a woman has really nice eyes, how many guys do you think have already told her that? Do you wanna be lumped into that category? Or do you want to go deeper where she feels like you're seeing her and admiring the real her that other guys miss? Here's something really powerful. There is something that I teach called the golden mirror. And there's a few ways to do it, but here's one that you can start with. Make a compliment directly related to a woman's dream. So I'll give you an example. So say she, wants to be a psychiatrist. You could say to her, you really are easy to talk to and I could totally see you being the type of person that people just wanna share information with. I almost feel like I've already told you things that I never tell anyone, okay? Now, a good thing to do is end it by saying something like, too bad you're such a dork because that breaks the tension and it brings things back to a more playful level and stops it from getting too serious. And I'll explain why that's important in a minute. Now, in addition to validating um, something important to her, it also does something very important for you. It communicates to the woman that you are the selector and you're not the selectee. What do I mean by that? Most guys will settle for anything they can get. And when you let a woman know that you're actually sizing her up, she'll be the one trying to impress you. She'll become addicted to impressing you. And the more she finds herself trying to impress you, the more invested she becomes in you and the more likely she is to fall in love with you. Okay, next. So women are what I would like to call meaning makers, which means a girl is always looking for the deeper meaning behind what you're doing or what you're saying to her. So as an example, if you show up for a date with her and you've got a bouquet of roses and you've got reservations at a super fancy restaurant, the meaning that she might make is, wow, he's super serious about me already. Maybe he's not used to dating a woman like me, which is why you have to be careful, right? You have to be conscious of the meaning she might be making of your actions or the words that you're saying without you even realizing it. But what's also important to understand is that for women, the harder the meaning is to decipher, the more invested she becomes in figuring you out. I always tell my clients, if a woman figures you out too soon, it's over. Women don't want a sure thing or a predictable guy. They also don't want a guy who doesn't give them a mental challenge. Women crave a mental challenge. This is why anything that you do that's ambiguous, anything the girl can't quite understand will lead her to being more and more interested in you because she'll spend more and more time thinking about you. So if you can do things that send mixed messages like telling her you like her and then sort of pushing her away from you, this keeps her mind trying to figure out what's going on here. And that mental challenge for her 
is extremely addicting. There's also a hand-holding technique that I teach guys that you can use to give her mixed signals that makes her curious and excited and turned on all at the same time. I'll explain that technique in a minute, but first I do wanna say, like anything else, if these techniques are used too much, they become worthless. So they must be used sparingly and only at the right moments. It took a lot of trial and error, but I discovered a very specific order that makes them even more effective. I'll tell you about that in a second, but first here's another tip. Use her name several times in a conversation with her as you make eye contact as you're talking to her. Even though on the surface, it's really innocent, right? It creates a sense of intimacy between you and her. Now, if you've ever had a woman hold eye contact and use your name, you probably know what it means. It creates a little bit of an electric spark, right? And it builds up tension because it taps into that meaning-making tendency of hers to start thinking, right? What's going on here? Is, is something going on between us? Okay, the next technique is something called future projecting. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, but here's a fun one. So after you take a picture with a girl, right? You're taking a picture with her, jokingly say, damn, we'd make some good looking babies, and then move on to another topic. Now, what you did, right? Because what you did right there is you anchored a future with her in her mind. And as a bonus, you made her imagine sleeping with you. Now, here's a tip that involves what you don't say. Stop telling her what you think she wants to hear. Many guys will talk a woman out of feeling attraction, even talking her out of falling in love, especially if you start telling her exactly how you feel about her too soon. Telling her is bad because it takes the magic, the suspense, the mystery, the tension, and that mental challenge out of the situation. It pops the balloon. It kills the chemistry. When you say to a woman very early on, I like you, in, a, in her head, the woman hears, he's admitting to me that he likes me, which gives me all the power, which for some strange reason makes me not like him as much anymore. Now, there's a, a lot of reasons, psycho psychology reasons behind this, but every woman's biggest fantasy is the day when she finally tells a guy her feelings about him. And when you tell her your feelings first or too soon, you're robbing her of that special moment of that dream. Every woman that falls in love goes through the same exact process. And when you know the process, you can take her through it and she'll think it was her idea to fall for you. Have you ever heard the saying, we love to buy, but we hate to be sold. This is why everything needs to be under the radar. So she feels like it's, her decision to chase you. Because if she senses that you're trying to convince her to like you or manipulate her to like you, she'll subconsciously put the brakes on, pull back, and a lot of times she won't even know why she's rejecting you, but she'll just have a bad feeling about things. You cannot convince a woman to like you, and if you try, you'll sound weak, you'll sound needy, and you will sound very desperate. Your job is to help her come to that conclusion on her own. And you do that through a mix of giving her the feeling that she's winning you over and being the mental challenge that she craves. See, there's an inherent biological difference in the way that men and female brains are wired. And instead of letting it confuse you, which it does to 99% of the guys out there, learn to use it to your advantage so they'll become interested and fall in love with you. See, uh, as I mentioned earlier, on their own, these techniques are powerful, but when you do them in a very specific order, she can't help but fall in love. Even if you're not her type or even if she's already rejected you or sees you as a friend. So I have a slightly longer video where I map out the exact technique and the specific steps that you can take to get her chasing you instead of the other way around. It is vitally important that you know exactly how to go from one step to the next with a woman in a way that always leaves her wanting more. Always leaves her wanting more. And that's what I explain in the next video. How to move things forward in an under the radar way that makes her feel like she's winning you over. And when you do this, it's a lot easier to turn her into your girlfriend because it feels like her idea. And what I also explain is that even if you've already messed up, you can turn things around. You can erase 
those mistakes from her mind so you have a second chance to stop her from pulling away or to get out of the friend zone. So if you want a sort of PhD on this, right, where we break down each of the phases and give you exactly what you need to do, then I suggest checking out the Scrambler seminar if you haven't already, because we go through each phase with example after example of how to do this. Because like I said, most guys think of the surface level stuff, right? Well, I won't text her back right away. Well, that's, that's sort of basic, right? That's predictable. It's what every guy does, so it has no effect on her. What we teach is the psychology of love and attraction and a woman's real idea of romance. You want to get to levels and levels deeper, that's where that deep attraction forms. That's where she feels like she's falling in love. So you can click the link below and check it out. Leave us a comment and also hit subscribe if you like this video. You don't wanna miss the next one. And uh, let us know what you want me to cover in the next video. 